My big boy is ready. My husband made me a cappuccino. Which I'm gonna put it in here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Please don't fall. And we're good. Maybe I should keep it close to me. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I put my cup inside Buck's corn bowl because usually the ants don't go in there. Okay, I feel like if I put it on the ground, I'm gonna have ants all over my coffee. Oh, you ready? Are you ready, my big boy? Look at that big wet nose. Look at that big wet nose. <laughs> and I don't see no ticks on you, thank God. All right, Buck, I got raspberries for you. I have a few grapes too, but yeah. You want the apples first, really? All right. Hold on. You want to dig in? Maybe he wants to do it on his own. You want to dig in? Maybe he wants to do it on his own. Okay, I had to fix the camera. You'll like the raspberries. You gotta try them, baby. You tried raspberries before. You like them. The raspberries and the leftover grapes that I had, the batch of grapes. Oh, he's going for the apples. You going for the apples, my big boy. Yeah, you're going for the apple. Look at you. Good boy. You know, I don't see no ticks on you. There's no ticks on him. And you're banging your antlers. You want me to put in your corn bucket? You don't want me to put in your corn bucket? You want to eat it on your own? I'm going to put in your corn bucket? Yeah? Come on. Oh, you're so smart. You're such a smart boy. You're such a smart boy. Okay, wow, you really got a mixed fruit salad in there. <laughs> He's got grapes, raspberries. Well, grapes, not many. Literally, he has like only five grapes in there. Right? He got like five or six grapes, a bunch of raspberries. I haven't given raspberries in a while. That could be why. He's like, wait, what is this? He went straight for the apples. My big boy, it tastes good. It tastes good. And he was already at the spot waiting. When I walked over to the spot, he was standing right here. And then he started walking over here. I hope you eat the raspberries, Buck, because they're good for you. Then this weekend, I want to get him. Hopefully, I find blueberries, because I know he really likes blueberries. But literally a few days ago, when I went to the supermarket, I didn't see them. I looked everywhere. I even looked in the organic section to get him organic ones. Because usually, if I can't find something that I know he likes... I try to find it like in the grocery section and then because in my grocery section they have an organic section and then I guess the regular section. So I looked both sections. I didn't find blueberries. You eating the raspberries? Good boy. Yeah. You want me to help you? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Let me push them. Okay. Yeah. Oh my baby. You give mommy kisses. You give mommy kisses. Love you. He's so cute. I had to push all the fruits like forward. Eat apples, baby. You okay? You okay? Are you gonna give mommy more kisses? You okay? Okay. Now he's digging in again. Now you digging in again. Tastes good. And I'm so excited because I don't see no more ticks on him. I sprayed him good today, this morning, before he left me. Now today I want to spray him again before he leaves me. So he's extra sprayed and he's extra protected. Right, Buck? We're going to give you, keep you extra protected this week because all the bugs are coming out again. Yeah, because I stopped spraying him like a month ago. Cause I didn't see like ticks or any flies on him, which I should have just kept spraying him even though, you know, I took it for granted. Like, oh, I don't have to spray him. I don't see no bugs on him. I don't see no ticks on him. And then today, look at that. He popped up with like two ticks. And I was like, oh man, what happened? You want mommy? You want mommy? Look, and you got grapes here, baby. Look, you got grapes. 
Yeah, baby. And you got raspberries. Oh, you're eating the raspberries. I'm proud of you. You just want to be all up on me? You want to just give mommy kisses? He just wants to keep kissing me, guys. You want to keep kissing me? Oh, my baby. You do your raspberries? Look. No, you just want to keep kissing me? All right. You just want to keep kissing me, guys. You want to keep kissing mommy? You didn't finish all your raspberries. You didn't finish your raspberries, mister. Don't tell me you don't like them. He ate a few of them, but not all of them. That's how you know when Buck is not crazy about something, he won't eat it all. Where's my big boy? You just want to give mommy a whole bunch of kisses? Now you're foraging on the leaves that fall from the trees? Well, you know, Buck, it's good to catch them while they're green when they fall, because then they turn yellow and then they turn, I don't know, like old raggedy leaves, crusty leaves. So maybe it's better he eats them while they're while they're green leaves. Because <laughs> Buck usually loves the leaves from those trees. It's just hard for him to get them because they're so high. So now I'm sure when the leaves fall in, he's going to be excited to be able to eat those leaves. Right? Oh, and you ate all the figs that I threw, that I gave him, because earlier today I gave him figs this morning. I went back inside after the video and I went to go get him a fig and I gave it to him. He liked it. Then like half of the fig he didn't eat. So I threw it on the ground, but now I'm looking, I don't see it. So he must have ate it. Oh guys, check out my cup. This is my cup. <laughs> it's my coffee mug. And I actually, I have a deer coffee mug too with a buck on it. That literally looks exactly like buck. Next time I bring, I'm gonna bring that cup out to show you guys. Now he's going back. Now you're going back to your spot. A oh, buck over here, it's beautiful out. See, in front of my house, I have like most, most of the sun is like in front of the house, like over there, you see? The sun is shining all in front of the house. It's so warm. It's like so hot in front of my house. It feels like summer. But here, hanging out here by the spot with him where there's shade and the trees, it feels so nice. Right, big boy? It's okay, it feels good. I think my husband came outside. <laughs> Cause me and my husband, we both had a late lunch today. So I'm not gonna start cooking till like six o'clock. So by, by the time I'm done feeding him and hanging out with him, it'll probably be that time for me to start cooking. When we have late lunches, I don't get hungry at like five o'clock to eat. That's why then it works out perfect, me feeding him at five o'clock. Right, big boy? Where's my big boy? I threw corn for Thumper, so if Thumper comes, Thumper has corn. Oh, it's so gorgeous out right now. Earlier today it was so warm out, guys. So warm. Hold on, let me get my coffee again. I know this video is going to be a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me just stand here in this spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, this morning it felt like summer outside. And now it feels beautiful, like perfect. Like it doesn't feel too hot outside. I was like, no, I don't want it to feel hot again. I don't want the heat to come back. Cause when the heat is here, where you going? Where you going? Are you leaving me? Hold on guys, cause I think he's planning. Are you planning to leave me? It's my big boy planning to, it's okay, it's me Buck, it's okay. Look, you left all your raspberries, really? He left a few of the raspberries. You left a few of the raspberries. You left a few of the raspberries. You wanna give mommy kisses? You wanna give mommy kisses? Oh, I wish I could kiss you and hug you, Buck, but you probably won't let me hug you. I doubt it. I don't think he will let me hug him. He'll probably think I'm like trying to hold him down or something. All right? You wanna let me hug you? Oh, my baby. And he has like a big wet nose. Look at his big wet nose. I could feel that big cold wet nose. Well, warm wet nose, actually. It's not cold. It's not like a dog's nose. It's warm. His whole body is just warm. It feels like a radiator. A deer, is, it feels a lot different from like when you pet a dog. Let me tell you. When you pet a deer, it's like petting 
an animal that's very, very hot. Like, just very, very, very hot. He just feels very hot, like warm, his whole body. Mostly his head and neck feels the warmest, I notice, compared to his, like, body. His body is warm, too. Like, when you touch him, it, it's, like, warm. But when you touch his face, it's like, wow. Like, I'm not gonna lie, in the winter, he keeps me pretty warm. <laughs> when he stays close to me and I pet him, he keeps my hands warm. Right, big boy? You keep mommy's hands warm? I got a lot of kisses from you this after this evening. I'm gonna say afternoon, but it's really evening. It's like five o'clock. Now, if you leave again, then I know there's gotta be a girl in there somewhere. Cause yesterday he did that. He ate and left. Like he hung out for a little bit, maybe because there was noise outside. I don't know, because my husband was outside yesterday, like talking loud. So that could have been why he left. But right now there's no noise. So if he leaves now, then I know there's gotta be the doe in the forest somewhere. And she's probably like not gonna come up here because I'm here. Or maybe not. Okay, because he's still here. Are you eating and leaving? No, you're not. You're not gonna eat and leave, right? My big boy. His glands, the legs are turning dark. That's usually when they start going into rut right now. I saw, I see a little black. Usually that's what it means. I remember one of my hunter friends told me that, to pay attention to that. So I do see a black dot in the middle. So I'm assuming he's in the beginning of rut. Like he's not fully in rut yet. Cause my friend told me that I'll see like little black dots, like spots on his hairs by his hind legs. And usually that's what shows us when they're in rut. So maybe he's like in the beginning stages of rut, but not fully in there yet. Cause if he's fully, he's definitely not fully in rut. Cause his neck don't look so swollen to me like it did last year around this, around this time. I think this year everything is like the, like taking up the time, taking his time to take its course <laughs> to go through what it's got to go through. Right Buck? When he lost his antlers this year, the other ones, the last set, he didn't lose them almost to March. Yeah, it was almost March when he lost them. And then the one, his summer coat, he lost it pretty quick, I have to say, right? The summer coat, he lost pretty quick. Cause when I went to my sister's house where she lived, she has a whole bunch of deers by her house. And they still had their summer coats while Buck was already almost done with growing out his winter coat, I remember. I think it was yeah, Labor Day, when I went over there for Labor Day. Where's he going? I think he's gonna be nosy. Yep, he's gonna be nosy. Usually when he walks like that, and he walks straight, that's because he's gonna look what's going on down the road. Buck is gonna be nosy right now. He's gotta pay attention to everything that's going on. All right, big boy, where are you? I can't see you. Oh, now I see you. Where's my big boy going? You see, he's paying attention to all the cars, probably the people that are walking by. Come here, big boy. Go eat the rest of your corn. Come here. All right, he'll be back. But I'm probably gonna get going. I know this video is a little shorter than my usual videos. But I don't know how long Buck is gonna take to come back to me. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait for him and drink my coffee. That's why I brought my cappuccino with me. I'm gonna sit here, have my cappuccino, and just hang out here with him a little longer. And then I gotta get my butt inside. Okay, maybe I could go around to go see him. There's a cat, maybe that's why. Kitty, kitty, baby. That's gotta be why, Buck, maybe that's what he's seeing, okay. Is that what you see him, big boy? Huh? Is that what you see him, Buck? You seen the cat? You seen the cat? Yeah? You seen that? My big boy. Go back home, come on. Let's go back home. Let's go back home. You still have more corn in your bucket, you have water. You still have raspberries in there that you left. Yeah, come on, let's go back. Let's go back home. I always tell him, let's go back home. Oh my God, I just got bit from a mosquito bite. I'm telling you, the mosquitoes are coming right back. They suck, I swear. I can't stand the mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. Come on, Buck, let's go back home. Come on, baby. Let's see if he follows me. 
Hold on, guys. I'll find out if he's going to follow me. Let's see. Usually he follows me when I say, let's go back home. So let's see. Yep, guys, look, look, he's coming. He's coming. You see? There's my big boy. You came back home? Here's my big boy. You came back home? When I say let's go home, you go home. <laughs> oh, I love this boy. He came back home. And I told him, I said, go your corn. You see how well he listens to me? I told him, I said, go your corn. You have raspberries in a bucket. And he actually listened to me. I think now he just tried a raspberry. Because I've seen him lick in his mouth before. So maybe now he'll like the taste of it. I'm gonna have to do what Jake, what you said. Remember when one time, I think it was Jake, right? Out of my subscribers, that you told me like to break up the food sometimes in my hand, like to break it open. If it's a blueberry or, black or raspberry or strawberry, whatever it is to break it open to make him smell it. I think I'm gonna have to do that with the raspberries tomorrow. Definitely. To make him understand like it's something good. <laughs> like I'm not giving you like poison, I'm giving you goodies. Now where are you going? You going back? You going back over there? You just took a walk over there. You didn't see nothing besides a black cat we see in that lives next door. Because my next door neighbor to my right, she has about, I think, two or three cats. And it's funny because all her cats are like coming on, on our property to probably chase this, the chipmunks and the birds because they know that we have all the birds because we have so many bird feeders on our property and bird houses. So the cats love coming here. It's like Every animal, every prey loves coming here. Yeah, now he's gonna go be nosy again. Look at him. Oh my God, he's so funny. Yeah, when Buck sees a cat, he wants to go look at it. So he wants to probably go see where that cat went. Oh, he's too funny. All right, guys, I'm gonna get going. I hope everybody has a great evening today. Ah, oh, the weather got cooler here, which I like. I like, it's better. So it was too warm earlier today. It was too hot and oh my God. And then like, I could see like mosquitoes flying around and flies and a whole bunch of bugs. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. Like summer all over again. So, but now right now it's nice out this evening, which is good. It's a good thing. I hope he comes back. He better come back so I can spray him before he goes, goes, you know? I'm sure he'll be back. That's why I'm gonna wait here a couple of minutes and see what he does. I can't see him. Uh, yeah, I see him. He's standing all the way like down there on this on this trail right here. So once he comes back to me, I'm gonna give him a good spray again. So at least tonight when he lays down like to bed somewhere, hopefully no more ticks will go on him. I hope and pray, please. I hope tomorrow morning when we wake up and I make my video, we both, all of us don't see no more ticks on him. Like, you know, especially on his face. I hate when they go like close to his eyes and stuff. It's like, come on. Like, get away from him <laughs> but i will be back later i mean later look at me i'm thinking like i'm thinking it's like morning i'll be back tomorrow morning i'm sorry excuse me i'll be back tomorrow morning with another video i hope everybody has a great evening and a good night and me and buck uh thumper is not here so i'm not gonna say me buck and thumper but hopefully thumper will be here tomorrow morning so we can see thumper tomorrow morning all right, everyone, have a great evening and a good night and ciao for now.